<sighs> Hi folks, how are you? Good to see you again. Let me fix the rug there. All right. Hello. Welcome to the Kevin Indiana Jones Show. This is Kevin Indiana Jones. Coming to you live from Queens, New York, in my apartment, as I said. Um, this is episode two of season two. Yippee. Um... Wanted to real quick just show the new display because I've rearranged things because of the wonderful bust that uh, my friend Chris Rosansky made. Um, I asked, actually I didn't ask. I, I said, I'm, "I think I'm, I think I'm gonna paint it," and he said, "Well, you can, but it's actually meant to be a marble, like in marble color. Like it's actually meant to be like a marble, like head, like a bust." So I said, "You know what? I can work with that." So lo and behold, I I I, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So thanks, buddy. I know you're. I know you're out there. So thanks, man. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for joining. This is uh, this is going to be a really really fun time. Um, hello to all the YouTube viewers who are watching this later. Um, I really appreciate you doing that. But um, to my audience here right now, ah, thank you, thank you so much for being with me. Uh, this is going to be a really really fun show. Um, uh, don't request to join. Um, so this week in Indy. The second package from Joshua Leonardville showed up. I was not expecting this, because I, I saw this uh, about online. I was like, boy, that'd be cool to have. And, uh, a, a good lord, <laughs> there it is. It, it's been folded up, but that's all right. Um, I, uh, I, I'm blown away by that. The detail is just incredible. I mean, look at that. That is so, so cool. And I'm going to figure where to put that on the wall, because um, that deserves space. So thank you very much for that. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty damn cool thing. And um, going with what I did with the uh, display, since that was holding the grail before, now it's um, holding the bust, and oh, I, I need something for this. So thank goodness Dark Matter Props on Etsy. Who uh, who's made many of these things that you see right here? They make a gorgeous uh, grail grail uh, display that has the seal on it, surrounded by like some stone little uh, you know things. I don't know outcroppings, pedestals, um, and it's it's really cool looking. And I knew when they made it, I was gonna get it. It was inevitable. It was inevitable. I tried to stick with this. This is only like fourteen bucks. The the little stand, um, the things you can do with three D printers. Both of those. 3D printed. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, and also, I forgot to mention this before. In my adventure to uh, LA, I had to run through the airport twice, from gate to gate, from from goddamn to the air air tram thing to the gate and bag down escalators. My bag didn't make it. Um, the strap broke, <laughs> and that sucked. Uh, but you know, I, I kept on going. You hold on to it. One of the straps broke. The other one, it's just a matter of time. So. I uh, had to junk that thing and just went for the real thing. So this is a uh, actual German mountain rucksack, vintage, real thing, very, very, very sturdy. This this is uh, this is ten times what the uh, re reproduction bag is. I mean, this is some thick leather right there. That's that's not going nowhere. That'll take some home alone running through the airport. I'll tell you that much right now. Um, this is really cool to have, and this is honestly. I think the only thing I have from um, Crystal Skull, but you know, it's it's legit. It's 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 the real thing, so that counts as something. Like I've like I've mentioned, I'm warming up to Crystal Skull, folks. I really really am. The first half, the first half, I really 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 enjoy, but after that, I don't. But it's all right. I'm getting there. You know, I'm getting there. God damn it. Um. So yeah. Um. You know. I wanted to watch Dial of Destiny this week just because um, I was kind of in the mood to watch that opening sequence, but I decided, you know what, there's so many things I haven't watched, and I've seen that I've seen that movie a plenty, and I've seen all the Indiana Jones movies a plenty that oftentimes I'll want to watch the indie movies, but I'm like, you know what, no, we'll discover something new, watch something new. So I watched the Andor show, and uh, I, I think I'm six episodes in, Jesus Christ, that's a good show. And I'm so glad I did that. You know, I, I'm so glad I, 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 instead of just sticking with what I always know, I took a chance on that. I know people said it was good, but I, I, uh, I don't always agree with said people. Um, but, you know, it was, um, it, was, it, was, it was cool to try. It was cool to try something new. And 
it, it paid off. That is one hell of a show. It, it takes a couple episodes to build, but it's interesting while it's doing it. And once you get there, it, the uh, the action gets real, real good because you actually you care about all these characters. So, anyways, off the point. Um, also, I had mentioned that I ordered a new Advantage hat, and this was a while ago. I did some thinking, and I have so many beautiful hats already. I have this, I mean, I have four Herbert Johnsons, and I have this uh, Advantage, and I have my Togna Rally. I got, I got six hats. I, I don't need seven. I don't need another one. I don't need another one. I don't want to sell any of the ones I have. And I just feel like what I have is good enough, so I canceled it. I canceled the order. Um, and you know, that, that was a good feeling. It was a good feeling to actually get that money back and be like, oh boy, that's, that's actually really, really nice. That's uh that's a good feeling right there. Um, but it's, uh, it's a thing. I want it. I won't get it. It's all right. It, it's, uh, I, I want uh, plenty of hats, but I just, I'm, I'm very, very happy with what I got. So I'm sticking with that. Um, anyway, so the guest this week, um, I think is the first person I met. Um, at this uh, California Jones meetup in California. And um, when I first saw him, the sun was hitting him in a way that, I, I mentioned this before, the sun was hitting him in a way that he just, he just hit it back. And it was kind of like a, that episode of Seinfeld when Kramer opened, his door, opened the door and it's a red light. He's just like this. He was just beaming. And boy, the bear hug he gave me, he made me instantly feel like family. Not just California Jones family, but like his family. I felt... Like, I, I felt the love that he had just immediately. And it was just so cool to experience that um, after having seen him, you know, promote people online and do nice stuff and say nice things. And just like Parker last week, to see that matched up in person with the real personality, it's, it's I, I can't encourage more for people to meet up with other indies. Um, if you're scared to do it, I understand. Sometimes this can be nerve-wracking, but... Once you do it, it's worth it. I swear to you, it's worth it. You'll make lifelong friends. I've made so many lifelong friends just doing this. But then when you meet them in real life, it adds... It, 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 it's, like a, it's like a Mario power-up. It's, it's really something else. But um, he, uh, he's a really, really great guy. And I was thinking that, you know, everyone talks about uh, Charles Darwin's survival of the fittest. But what people forget is that he also talks about survival of the friendliest. And that is the most important aspect of survival. Um, and if there's anyone that will further this mankind any, any better than it can be, it's one, it, it's, he's definitely one of these people. Um, and it's Scott Taylor, and I'm so glad he's joining me for this episode. So, Scott, if you're out there, do I, I don't know, do I request you to join? We'll see how it goes. Is he even out there? Wouldn't that be ironic? I don't, know, I don't see him out there. Well, you know, I can, um, I, I, I can, I can, I can spread, I, I, I can spread out. It's, it's, it's weird that he's not out there, though. Uh, oh, there it is, it says, what the hell? I don't hear the ringing. Damn it all. You know, I, uh, he, he uh, I see that he's here now, so I, uh, I I embrace this because it's just what happens. It's just what happens, you know. Plans don't really go well, and and, and you go with it. You got to go with the flow, you know. Oh, God Almighty! Uh, uh yeah. So I had. Okay. Oh. Hey. I can't. Okay. I can't see you. No. Damn it. Hmm. What do we do? Really. Yeah, I can't see you. I don't know. Should we maybe maybe drop out? Maybe maybe let's let's cancel a little try again because I want to see you in this. So let's try it again. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Oh, Venkman. Oh, Venkman. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, uh, let's let's um, let's get through, through this hoidle. Let's go through this hoidle toidles. Huh? Uh, uh, invite. Come on. Yes. I mean. I mean, if everyone can see him and I can't this next time, yeah, I, I can't see you for some reason. Okay, it says you turned on video. Ah, uh, Amber. Hmm. You know. But, but everyone else can see you? Him? Hmm? I mean, I can hear you fine. Let's just treat it like a phone call. It's happened before. It's a bummer. But, you know, oh. 
God, I, that sucks. It, it's, really? it's, a, uh, it's 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 an aspect of how this works. Um, uh, okay, well. Yeah, I mean, they can see you, and I'll just watch. I'll watch this later, so I can see you, and it'll be fine. Like I said, we're uh, we're we're older folks, so we're used to phone calls, and we can handle this, my friend. Wait, wait. Wait, don't request to join. Don't request, request to join. None of you. Uh, you can hear it at least. What, what can you do? What can you do? Anyways, let's just go with the flow. Well, how are you, buddy? Good to see, good to see you. And I can't see you. I was playing the Raiders. Well, I was playing the Kevin Indiana theme on base for you, but you can't see it. So I'm great, man. Um, it's awesome to be here. I wish I could see you, but it is what it is. Wait, can you, can you not see me? I can see oh, okay. you fine. Okay. And okay. I guess when you watch this back later, you will get the whole experience yeah. of Kevin and Scott sharing space together. But cheers. Yeah, exactly. Cheers to you. And and, and I, I noticed last time people were wondering what is in this. It's just water. It's just water. Honestly, it's, it's my favorite drink. It's just water. I like water. It's ice cold. What? It's delicious. What? What water, water, water. Wawa. Um. Anyways, so since I can't see you, what what are you wearing? Who are you wearing? I'm wearing right now? nothing. I'm wearing nothing at all. Actually, tomorrow when you post this, it'll probably break. Well, the community, if, if nothing else, the internet. No. Uh, I'm wearing. I'm actually. Wearing, I'm ready. I'm wearing the Wested. What are these? The new no, oh, Corolian cotton pants. Ah, these, you're wearing pink. Uh, oh, nice. Azuma shirt, absolutely love. Uh, Wester jacket, Federator's hat. So. All right, I'm forming the picture. I'm forming the right, picture. Visualize, visualize. That's a good picture. I mean, so. you're, you're, I, I, I didn't visualize the pants. There's still no pants involved just because I, 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 I thought we talked about it. Folks, here's a little behind the scenes little thingy. Yeah, I'm wearing, uh, I, I'm not wearing anything indie based for my, for my bottom half. I'm just wearing gym shorts right there, my friends. So it keeps me comfy. That's why I can wear the jacket. Otherwise, like it's so sweaty, it'll be, uh, I guess it would be indie to be sweaty. Anyways, um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's so good to have you on the show. Like I said, meeting you. Was just so damn fun, and I love that you were the first person that I actually met, and that was um, that was a joy. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, you were with uh, Eddie, I think his name is Eddie. Oh, at the California Jones, I came solo to that event. Well, in the parking lot, in the parking lot, when I first met you, you was you were you were with another fellow, Eddie Agin, that uh, we yeah. were hanging out with. Yes, and you yeah. know. You did, you spoke about friendship, and that's really, this has become one of my probably all time most treasured things is being a part of this community. When I came into it, ooh, 2022, something like that, I was a Star Wars fan before, and it was just such a toxic, tearing itself apart, you know, well, I kind of like, well, blah, 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 you know. Um, and my true love has always been indie. Mm. So when I first kind of got into the whole cosplay thing and I went on Facebook and I saw California Jones and Morgan Lopp and Kirk and Daniel Reiser and all these people that became big heroes to me, then I became friends with them. And I became friends with Eugene and Matt Wacker, you, Caleb, Daniel Reiser, one of my best friends. I have so many best friends in this community. <laughs> Um, they, they just, yeah, it's lava, man. It really, truly is. And I thought California Jones was just the most beautiful thing in the world. But then I met you and Caleb, and I'm like, you guys have that same energy. It really is such a gift to, uh, if you haven't attended an event, a New York Jones, California Jones, Cali Crusaders, Florida Jones, whatever the nearest Jones event near you, do it because it's a beautiful thing, man. It's just beautiful. All right, all right, all right, all right. Enough of my. I love you guys. I love Maverick and Eugene and Matt Wacker and his new bride. Um, yes, congrats to them. Congratulations to them. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, it's just so many great people. 
evolved uh, as part of our community. So I feel very, 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 very lucky to be part of all of them. Well, I mean, if, uh, I'm not surprised, but if you can believe it, the Kevin 11 has already begun because oh. that was my first question. How, um, how did this all start for you? Um, so about 22 years ago is well, when you okay. started so putting the thing on. Kid growing up, I was really into Star Wars when it came out. I grew up without a dad, and I was like, Han Sol is badass. That's my guy. And Empire came out, and I was like, yes, I was like Team Han Solo. Um, and then I had a big brother, kind of a mentor father figure, and he was involved in the entertainment business. He goes, you know, Harrison Ford's in this new movie coming out. It's adventure. He's just the star. Um, so he got me the novelization and we went to a preview before Raiders came out like, a couple weeks before and I was like this is my movie this is my <laughs> and then it came out that summer and I uh, I snuck in I found the back door to the theater that was playing Raiders had a broken lock so I would sneak in every day that summer and hang out and watch Raiders and I recorded it on my little tape recorder would go home and memorize the lines mm. so anyway fast forward now and I kind of always sort of wanted to cosplay I had recently gotten married and my stepkids were big cosplayers and then I found Kyle Floyd Jones with oh my god there are other people that do this that geek out over the hats or over the jackets over the shirts and the exact style of whip and yada 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 I could go on but yeah so that's how it all started for me. That's so fantastic, man. That, that, thank God it did. Thank God it happened. I mean, thank God it started for all of us. Because I mean, what 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 fun this is to actually nerd out. But I like I don't I, you know when I was doing Superman message board. Uh, this is way back in the late '90s and the early 2000s. I I felt like a nerd doing that. But for some reason, I don't feel like a nerd doing this. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the outfit in general or just the way that the support is. That's just like, oh, that's pretty cool. That right. it's just like a, a it's a confidence booster. But um, uh, speaking of, I I I love how you clearly aren't in this for yourself. Um, the 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 fact that you have the Indiana Jones of the day on your oh, Instagram yeah. page, and you, you showcase someone every every day or the best that you can. It's just uh, it, 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 it's, somebody's always dominating it. No, but um, um <laughs> thank you for that. But uh, <laughs> um, it, it's just nice. It's nice to see you always showcasing someone else. Do you feel like it's important to boost others and to let them be seen in case they aren't being seen by as many as they could Absolutely. be? Absolutely. And, you know, and that, again, goes back to the magic of this community and how everybody very quickly embraced me and said, your family, I want people like uh, Garrett, Indiana Joker, all the, you know, the new young people that are like, that were me two years ago. I went to the first California Jones event that, you know, I heard about. It was a whip cracking thing for the park. And I stood at the trees and I went, oh my God, that's Morgan, that's Daniel, that's, and I was so, I was afraid to talk to them. Oh. Um, now it's silly, you know, but they were my heroes when I first got turned on to them. Just like you, oh my God, you were, even before I met you, your, your love just radiated. I went, dude, this dude's badass. So when I saw you, I was like, you're my people. Um, <laughs> everybody in California, Jones, they're my people. Yep. Everybody I've hung out and talked to, I connect with instantly, and they're just genuinely warm, loving people. I'm sorry, what's the question again? <laughs> um, oh, do you think it's good to showcase? Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely, because we are one big family. It yep. really, it doesn't, um, it doesn't matter where you are on dressing, on whips, on anything. We're all there together. Exactly. Exactly. We're there to help. We're there. there I mean, to, if you need advice for stuff, we're there for you. I mean, it's just something else that goes way beyond just, just the, the back straps and the shirts and the jackets and stuff like that. Um, and, um, that, that leads to the next question. Um, why do you think there's literally no gatekeeping in the Indian Jones uh, cosplay community? Like none. There was, there was mm. somebody when I first got turned into 
the community, I kind of got really mentored by this guy. And, but he was gatekeeping. And I was like, wow, that's kind of not what, that was a Star Wars thing. That was so many other people in my life. Um, luckily, that was gone. And I have seen nothing, nothing, nothing since of gatekeeping. And, and again, once that kind of negative energy comes out of this community, everybody's sort of like, whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> oh, bye. Yeah. Let's keep the- Get in line or get out. Let's keep the love. Let's keep everybody, you know, on the up and up. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know why. It's just such a, maybe because we all are nerds from all kinds of different walks of life and we find this connection with this character that we just automatically kind of embrace each other in an openness and a vulnerability and a you're my long lost brother sister soul absolutely it's absolutely that it's it's and it's funny how like, i mentioned it before that like when you actually meet up with people your instinct is not to be like what's your favorite part in last crusade and blah 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 and some sometimes it's like hey well what what is that jacket but then beyond that it's just like how how's life? What what's your life? What tell me about you? And the character just kind of drops away, and it's just it's it's a family reunion, even if it's the first time you've ever been to one. And it's just it it's you know e even real families aren't like that for Christ's sakes. I mean, if they are for you, God bless you. If if anyone out there's family is really like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, you know, families always have issues for the most part, and um, it's nice when a uh, self-made family does not um but you know let's let's not get too heavy here um so have, since you've been doing this for so long how uh go ahead go ahead so go ahead. no you you please you know like i grew up i didn't have much of a family growing up i grew up kind of an only child and as i've had girlfriends and wives what have you I, wow it must be awesome to have a family a clan and they go I don't get along with my sister. I don't talk to my brother. Blah, 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 blah. But yet in the indie community, there's none of that. It's it's exactly what I imagine a family gathering should be. That same mm -hmm. connection, that same family. Oh, my God, Kevin, how are you? Caleb, <laughs> tell him, man, how are you? How, what's been going on? Blah, 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 you know, it's that. Yes, I am so so happy we will get to share that same space and energy together and oh yeah we also love oh wow what the daughter do you get you know going on but yes there's something much much deeper uh, much more warm fuzzy absolutely L lucky us you know lucky us um i i, I can I, as you were saying that i felt your hug like i almost felt like it was uh like indy getting uh, squeezed by sala because it was like for a second i was like i'm a good hugger but this is this is good this is a good one um uh what would you say you're oh, oh no actually that's that was the question i was gonna ask so you've been doing this for a while have you ever lost interest in doing it at any point and how did you get it back so well for me i mean i um i've been doing every halloween i have dressed up as indiana jones for not to age myself but 80s 30 years something like that um and it wasn't until just after the pandemic, whatever that was, 2021-ish, 22-ish, mm -hmm. um, that I, I dressed up as Halloween, and I will put on my same cheesy Disney hat and my same Goodwill leather jacket and my same white dress shirt that I got from somewhere that, you know, was just a man's dress shirt. And, all right, let's go out. The next morning, I looked at the picture, and I go, wow, man. And I had just earned a little bit of money and, you know, some stuff. I go, you know what? Who made the original? Herbert Johnson. Who made the original? Oh, you know, West did. Um, and I start upgrading. And then I realize, oh, wow, that whole cosplay avenue that I wanted to go down. For a quick minute, I fantasized of doing a Mandalorian cosplay. And I looked like, that's going to be over a thousand bucks. And then I got bit by the indie bug. And I went, oh, my God, I can live my fantasy as Indiana Jones and it could be authentic and, and you know I can hang out with my kids and we can go to cons cosplaying and now it has become so much more than that for me you know 
good. You know, I mean, I did get to be one of the ones that got to walk the red carpet. Mm -hmm. If you told me 30 years ago in 1981, Scott, one day you will walk the red carpet with fucking Harrison Ford and George Lewis, I would have said no. Wearing the authentic Indiana Jones garb. I'm like, I could die right now and I'm good. I'm done. I'm out. You know, it's um, really this community has just fulfilled so many dreams of mine and so many <laughs> you know it's you're on a dream of mine right uh, now this is a dream of mine this is literally a dream of mine um doing a talk show i'd always wanted to be on a talk show and then doing this i realized oh i wanted to do a talk show and doing this is a dream come true and having you uh, as my guest is a dream come true i just need you to know that i need, I need you to know that harrison ford on Letterman interviews have I watched, you know, talking about the latest yeah. indie movie. And now I'm sitting here talking to another, you know, indie fanatic across the world about mm -hmm. indie. That badass, man, badass. It does a lot. It does it's a lot to the heart. So, um, yeah. The best. I mean, what would you say your favorite part of going to a cosplay event is, in general? Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. You know what? I will say last December, I got to be part of this. Um, uh, it was a toy walk for the Shriners, and it was oh, nice. all these little kids coming up to me. Oh my God, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, you're my favorite character in Fortnite. I always play you. I had more kids wanting to take pictures with me and, you know, come up to me and all of that because, and I bet Kirk and I bet Daniel, you know, all of you guys that do events probably got the same story much more than me. But it was like, oh, this is really cool that these little kids, I got to be the hero that I used to look up to. You know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah. was a kid. I would, oh, wow. You know, that now I'm that guy. <laughs> Fuck. It's really, that. that's amazing. And of course, you know, when the California Jones meets up, like we said, it's, it's family, and I get to see Nathan and, and all of my family that way, too, which is always great. But, yeah, that one time last December, getting to, you know, be, see the kids light up when they saw me as Indiana Jones, that was super cool. That's, that's the best. That's my favorite part of, um, I got my New York Comic Con coming up next oh. month, and when kids respond, Bond, that just makes me just like oh like i almost just start to ascend because it's just a wonderful feeling to to to, to have i remember being that young and looking at like a oh hero like just being just like wow and and to be able to actually do that as this is um that's you know it's 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 something i don't take lightly honestly i don't take it lightly and um it's it's i can't wait i can't wait to do it even if even if um Last year we got mobbed. We got mobbed by by many many people. But uh, this year I'll be ready for that. I'll be ready. For that. But anyways, enough about me. Um, so yeah, like we mentioned before, when we first met, our energies lined up like whoop. yes, yeah, yeah. You know, you're the brother I never had. Almost instantly, yeah. there was that. Yeah. As soon yeah. as I saw you, we knew. It's um, it's it's uh, it was special because, you know. It's, I know that for me, it's not always easy to maintain that um, that that feeling where where you you want everyone to be happy and and doing so that makes you happy. But sometimes that can um, that can that can uh, that can come from a source. Where does that come from from you? Um, bring that by me again. I'm sorry. I We're like lost my. Um, just like keeping positive all the time, and like it, it's almost like we have a uh, like. I know I've maintained my childlike energy. Um, I, I've I've kept that important growing up. I mean, I'm 44 years old, and I, I still fly through the kitchen like I'm Superman when I got to go grab some uh, some some snacks or whatever. And it's just like uh, it, it's just a positive energy that that you have to create sometimes. And where does it come from from you? Um, you know, it's. Like I go into work and every morning, I'm the guy, hey, good morning, Donna. Hey, good morning, you know, whatever. They're like, how do you wake up just so happy? And I'm like, man, you know, 
I'm 50 something years old. I get to dress as Indiana Jones. I love my life. I love my, my toys and my faces and my wife and my dog and my friends. You know, at this phase of my life, I'm like, it's, it's amazing that I could do nothing except try to share that love. And everybody in the community is so loving giving back. They, they radiate it. So it just is this bouncing flow of energy. Um, and that's why I know so many times, you know, people might work like, God, Sky, you're like always happy and all that. But in the Indian community, it's just, it's a natural give and sharing. So, yeah, you know, again, that's where I know I found my people because they are that same love. You, you are that person. Caleb is that. Daniel is that. Morgan, Nathan, Fred, Natasha, you know, their style, Maverick, on and on and on. Amazing. You know, they all, my God, the first time, once I got into California Jones, well, the first event after looking at all these people from the sidelines, I went to Disneyland for their adventure day 2023. <laughs> and I went dressed up and I kind of went in sort of trepid. Like, okay, I haven't met anybody, but I want to be part of this. And Morgan Love came running down Main Street and just Dick! gave me his great big bear hug and lifted me up. And I was like, I don't even know you're doing badass, you know. I knew I found my people. I knew I that's the best. So, yeah, it's very easy to have that love because everybody is giving that love. So. That's a hell of a good point. That it's all reciprocal. That it's it's not like no one's a sponge. No one no one doesn't give back. Everyone gives back, and that was a big surprise for me. That you know you figure there'd be there'd be someone out there that's just like yeah, give me give me nice things, give me nice things all the time. I'll never say anything nice about anyone else. And there easily could be. I'm sure maybe there has been, but I just lucked out and and just getting the most positive of everything. You know, I, I came in at a good time. Joy. Sorry. <laughs> Don't report that, George. <laughs> that got me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I, I do notice that we uh we have some gray hairs upon us. You know, like it's uh it's 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 getting there. It's getting there. Uh, so we've probably seen and been through some shit. Um, how do you keep the darkness at bay when it's coming for you? The darkness at bay. Um. Yeah, you know, it's uh, that's a good question. I don't really think of it. I don't. I really, I am the the guy. The older I get, the more I want to be in a fantasy land. The more I'm like, you know what? I just want to dress as Indiana Jones and crack whips and play my bass and enjoy my life. You know, on this end of it, I'm not chasing fame and fortune and all of that anymore um yeah and my wife she's a big advocate of um, true crime and all those serial killer drama docudramas blah blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, God, no can i just go back to you know let me go watch an indiana jones film because that's my world i don't care about all the negativity yeah. going on out there that thanks Hopefully, you know, me and mine, we were all good and safe. And so, yeah, I don't really have much negative, you know, except for what my wife watches. But, yeah, my headspace, I, you know, let me just watch a comedy and laugh. Let me go watch Indiana Jones and escape and dream of being in a jungle in Peru. I don't want to know about the dramas going on. That's the hell of a good point. Of New York. Yeah. I, I live that. I don't even watch that. I'm watching the naked. I'm watching the naked gun tonight. For Christ's sakes, hey, after this, you know, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm. Well, it's funny that you mentioned the bass. That was the next question. Uh, you are also a total badass because you play the bass. Um, do you find it necessary to maintain interests other than cosplay, just to you know, to maintain sanity and not just focus on that all the time? Um. Uh, yeah. I mean, bass playing has been a part of my life 
uh, since I was a kid, you know, and I've kind of been up and down. And now in the past year, when I get with a band and the singer or whatever finds my indie cosplay, I've been told three times, dude, you got to wear that stuff on stage. That looks great. Dude, you know, how cool is that? Um, and I think I did. I think one Halloween gig a couple of years back, I wore indie back in my cheesy Indiana Jones you know, stuff, but I've yet to wear my legit indie stuff on at a gig. But it's coming. Yes. So, it should be, because so, yeah. I think I, um, I saw that picture before, and it, it looked, it was awesome. It was so awesome. It, it would, it, it's like, uh, that should be, that should be how it is, that you, Indiana Jones should be on stage playing bass. That's fucking badass. Exactly. So, yeah, uh, I guess Fortnite now has a thing where you can have your little indie icon playing bass, and my kid was one day I walked out there, he was like, and I was like, oh, that's me! There he is! Indy playing with bass and the fuzz! Yeah, it was hella cool. Um, <laughs> that's fantastic. Uh, uh, could you play a little bass for us right now? I started to, but let me try. Let's see. Uh, 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 oh. Can you hear that? I sure do. One of my favorite moments. I didn't even see that, but I could hear it. And that's all I need. All right. Oh, you'll see it goodness. later. This is all done and over with. That was, that was badass. So hey, hey, there you go. Now you can say you've had your theme played on bass. I, I'm very happy that I can say it, especially that it was done by you. Oh, um, man. Um, as I mentioned before, our hair is starting to impersonate Steve Martin. Uh, do you have any advice for the young books out there, uh, not just about cosplay, uh, but about getting through life in general? Don't take it too seriously, you know? Really, that's the thing. The older I get, the less I take life seriously because I realize being the coolest and being the greatest and being... None of it matters the older I get. All the ego stuff doesn't matter. Be happy, love your life, love you, love being an indie cosplayer or a bass player or whatever it is that turns you on, love it. Because I know as cliched as it is, man, but that's, you're the only one that that's you, that's your magic you bring to the table, so. Excellent answer, that's fantastic. Um... It's it's important to I mean it's it's I think it's bad for the heart to take things so seriously all the goddamn time. So to uh, to to be able to kind of take a step back and just realize you know you only get one life you might as well enjoy it and you might as well work for this. It's 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 a um it's given me not a new, new lease in life because I wasn't needing a new lease in life, but I, I feel like this is my my midlife crisis. Um. And it just so happens that this is something that's going to be long, long lasting for the rest of my life. Like, uh, it's just it's such a lucky thing for for us to fall into at, at uh, I mean, I I was 40 something when I started doing it. And I, I, I felt like that's kind of proper. That's and he's not a young guy. So it was just cool that there's young kids. It's doing this, and then there's older folks doing this. I hate to call us older folks, but we're, right. we're, we're, you know, we're on the older side of it. Exactly. Exactly. Like, uh, it, it, we're over twice their age, we're older. You know, that's just how it is. You know, um, and sends, and he connects with kids 40 years younger than, oh, okay, 30 years younger than us. 20 years younger than us, damn it. <laughs> Regardless, eh. um, what does this indie cosplay thing all mean to you? Oh, wow. Um, see above. No. Um, yeah, I mean, this was always, my wife asked me that question a while back, too. Um, yeah, it's, 
it's really the realization. It's it's been healing for me in a lot of ways. It brought out in the last year or two, really going down the rabbit hole of indie cosplay. It brought out that inner child that always really, really wanted to, you know, be as indie as possible. But you know, you grow up and you put it on a shelf. You, at least for me to get out every Halloween because I have a job and I have a wife and I have kids, blah, blah, blah. But now that, you know, I've done it, it's, it really has healed me and made me really embraced. Like, okay, Scott, you know, that, that 15 year old kid when you used to sneak into movie theaters, he's pretty cool because look at him now. He has become that hero that you used to dream of one day growing up to be. And that's what it was. Indy was my father figure, my mentor in a lot of ways. He was my symbol of what a man should be and how to be right and how to be good. And, and in the end, you know, he had that one soul partner that, you know, he found. Um, I, that, in, that became my hero in so many throughout my whole life so now to really become not really become you know that hero but get to be as played dressed up as possible um yeah has really healed something in me and given me a peace of mind and a piece of serenity imagine you know if the outside world really dressing up as Indiana Jones gives you peace of mind and serenity. But yeah, it's almost a meditative. It's sort of like dressing up as Superman. I put this on, I'm like, boom, I feel like I'm on stage and I'm ready to take on the world. Let's do this. I am Indiana Jones, you know? It really is just a magical thing. And part of me, man, you know, I see my coworkers can play about the lines. I'm like, God, I wish you could dress up as Indiana Jones and understand the joy that it gives me and the peace of mind. And But I guess it maybe means something to me different than it would mean to other people. But, uh, yeah. Beautifully said. No, that was beautifully said. I mean, there's um, not, not, not many, but, you know, <clears throat> uh, there, there's a lot of people I'm friends with from high school that have really in, enjoyed some of this stuff and I'm very surprised by that because you know I, I was by no means um, popular in, in high school at all and so it's just really cool that there's people hey, I graduated in 1998 now there's people now that are like hey that, that's cool he's dressing like Indiana Jones and it's you know it's 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 a weird feeling that anyone can be Indiana Jones, no matter who it is. And you never know who the hell is going to be happy about it. And it might bring, bring them happiness and maybe hopefully it'll inspire them to do something, take a chance. Cause um, like you will, you would think this is nerdy, but it isn't like we said, it's just not a nerdy thing for some reason. It's confidence. It's where we, this has given me a different kind of confidence. I, I stopped really <laughs> at a certain point. I really stopped looking in the mirror. But when I'm wearing any of this shit, I'm very proud of it. And I, I, I'm proud of how I look. And I don't mind taking selfies again. You know, in your 20s, you're always taking pictures of your selfies. But when you're 40s, not so much. But this this has given me a new confidence. Like you said, it's it's really, it's um, it's almost like an armor in a way. And uh, I, I just think it's it's just, it's just certain cool. You know, it's so, it, this, we are, make, I don't know. If, I, were we cool before these outfits? You were cool, obviously, because you were playing the bass the whole time. But it's just, uh, it's 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 weird to, to feel really cool in this outfit. But damn it, it does. You know, damn it, it we, we do. Damn it, we do. I, that was rambling. Sorry. Uh, um, I, that's all the questions, but I have some backups, and I want to ask you more because I'm not finished with you yet. Do you understand? Bring it on. Um, what's your favorite Indiana Jones movie? Raiders. Raiders. Ah. Followed by a close temple. And for me, because, you know, see above, Raiders was, was that first magic. I, you know, he was an adventurer and he was figuring stuff out. And, you know, he was a detective and he was a badass. And Temple of Doom kind of carried that on. For me, Last Crusade was really about the father-son dynamics and... What's interesting 
because I've had this talk with a lot of the guys in California Jones and the ones that have a father son kind of dynamic that they've been trying to heal really gravitate towards last crusade me, me I, I didn't have that for me Indy was the badass fatherless you know let's go swing in the jungles of Peru and let's go climb the temple of Shiva and all of that. So Raiders followed closely by temple. That makes, that, that makes a hell of a lot of sense. I think that's a fantastic answer. Um, and I, I, I think, I don't think I know. I know it's the perfect movie. It's, it's, there's, there's not whole many, many perfect movies out there, but that's definitely one, you know, I, I will concede the other indie movies are not perfect. They have there's issues right. in, in in every one of them, but except except for Raiders. Raiders is just flawless, so, basically. So, so yeah, I, well said. Um, who who's your favorite character in the movies other than Indy? Ooh, oh, 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 God! These are good questions, man. Holy cow! Um, um, Marion. Of course, Marion. Love it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, short round, dad. Marion, hello. You're pretty yeah. damn badass. That's an excellent you know, answer. Yeah. Is, they do that dance, and that's, I think, one of the most realistic things about the indie movies is the dynamics of Marion and Indy and, oh, they're not together anymore. He's with this girl. Oh, they're back. Oh, now they're back. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Excellent. Excellent. E excellent answer. Um, uh, this this will be the final question. This is oh, this is question fourteen. No, can no, no. no. I know. I know. Yeah. Um, but it's a good one. I hope this makes sense. How much peace of mind does it bring you knowing folks like us will be able to keep doing indie cosplay the older we get because of Dial of Destiny? Now it will be screen accurate. Uh, right? You know, it's um, thankfully our, our cosplay character ages with us. I still got another 20 years of indie for Dial of Destiny. Well, shoot, not that, but, you know, I can pull off Dial of Destiny right about now. Um, th yeah, he's, you know, Indy has truly, um, and something I feel, and probably you do as well, and I love Daniel, and, you know, so many of the younger people in our community, but I was a 14-year-old kid seeing Raiders, and now... I'm an elderly, older man, mature, um, seeing Indy again. So he's been a part of my life for almost 50 years. He has grown with me. You know, I wasn't, I'm, you know, yeah. So it's, um, I'm, I'm aging with Indy. Yeah, and exactly, exactly. It's a beautiful thing. It's an absolutely beautiful thing to be able to do that, you know. And um, it's, it's, it's all shapes and sizes. All shapes and sizes can do it. And all ages can do it. And that's, that's one of the beautiful things about Indiana Jones is that it's just so welcoming to all. No matter who puts on the outfit, like, you look like a good Indiana Jones. That's just how it works. You know, and that's, um, in California Jones, I mean, we have Tasha, we have some female Joneses, we have... Joneses of all shapes, all sizes, nationalities, you name it. And we're all Joneses, man. It's, it's, it's like a big family of Joneses. Whether you're in New York, whether you're in Florida, or Colorado, or California, your last name is Jones. <laughs> we're, we're a family. Damn. Right. You know, I think you know, Caleb knows, if you guys were ever in L.A. and you need a place to stay, you need help moving, whatever. I I know I'm there for you. It, you're your family, and, and I hope if I ever go, you know what? I'm out of LA. I'm gonna go move to New York. I got a homie in New York named Kevin. And goes, yeah, man, come and crash on the couch. Just don't request to join. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, it's we all got each other's back. We're all Joneses. Yep, we're all no Joneses. Who you are or where you're at on the planet. 
circumstance. Man, yeah. I wish the rest of the planet operated the way us Joneses do. Because even political boundaries, you know, like, you know what? I love you. I don't care. I don't want to know what you're about. Because I want to love you. Yep. And I wish the rest of the friends in my world felt that same way that we Joneses do. So. Absolutely. It's, I, I've learned a lot from that as well. And, um, you know, there's many people I care about that don't agree with me, and that's quite all right because I care about them nevertheless, and I'm not going to stop caring about them for crying out loud. And it's just something that the community is just a small sample of what the world could be. You're right. And, God damn it all, we, uh, we should just all try to understand and love each other because, like I said, survival of the friendliest. It's, it's not the survival of the fittest. Um, and my friend, that is the end of my, my show uh, portion with you. Um, I can't wait to watch this and actually see you. <laughs> this, this, I, I, I honestly, I, I, I forgot. It didn't matter that I can't see you because I just got so into the conversation that really I felt like I felt like I was back in the '80s and the '90s actually talking on the phone for an hour. And it's just, uh, it's a good feeling to know that. Um, <laughs> that e even in this digital age it's still possible to just talk yeah, and just right. and actually talk and listen and and respond and i'm so glad almost in a way this kind of enhanced the conversation i feel like because it was just very much it was very much I, I was i was hanging on every word you were saying so not that i don't with everyone else don't get me wrong but you're just a, a wonderful dude and I can't wait to see you again, whether it's in California, New York, or somewhere in between. Um, it will happen again. Yeah, we, we can't let much time go by. I dig your energy way too much, man. Same. Same to the... Um, yeah. I just want to hug you. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for... You know, last year, I tuned in every Monday, man. I'd be driving home, like, when I kept in Indiana, so... You know, thank you for allowing me to be on the show. I appreciate it. It's been a joy. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for thank you for your energy as well. And I will see you on the internets, and we'll talk soon, my friend. You're the best. You're the best. Cheers. Like that. Um. So yeah, how about that? Hey, that's beautiful. I knew it would be. Even if I couldn't see him, I could hear him, and that's all. I, that's all that counts. That's all that counts. It's uh, it's what you hear. It's not what you see all the time. Oh man, you, you guys, uh, this is uh, this is turning into something. This is turning into something, and I'm I'm kind of steering it into a different direction. Um, not fully off course. Indiana Jones will always be the basis, and cosplay will always be the basis. But I want to delve more into some other things uh some some more important things and uh things that could help others out there and i feel like if this is the medium in which i can do that okay nope i'll do it and I, I really hope that some of the things that we talk about um help you know i, I hope that i hope that the things that we're we're, we're saying make sense first of all because we ramble you know we're excited we're happy um but i really hope that you get something from this rather than just a fun uh, cosplay show. I hope you walk away from this thinking like, oh, shit, you know, that was, oh, that was pretty good. Um, so cosplay always, always will be the basis, but I'm going to talk about other things. You know, it's, it's, it's good for the soul and it's good for all of you. I feel like to hear other perspectives from things and other lives, other, other problems people have had other issues and, you know, at the end of the day, it really turns out that so many, so many of us have had the same issues, and it's just really, really cool that um, that we can pull together and 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 <sighs> commiserate. Not so much commiserate, but it's 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 um it's healing. You know, uh, he, he's like 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 Scott said, it's healing. So, thank you, Scott, for being my guest. That was fantastic. Uh, next week, it will be. Someone else I met at the uh, the the meetup in California. Um, I, I can't wait to have this guest on because uh, she is uh, a, a a role model. I feel like that uh, any girl would would be would be 
be amazed to see her dressed up like uh, like her character. Uh, Tasha Dahlberg will be my guest next Monday night, and uh, we'll be talking about her own character, Arizona Jones, um, along with other things. But it'll be uh, it'll be very very fun to have her on. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Whether you watch this here live uh, again on Instagram or on YouTube, uh, if you like it, like it. I hate to say all this crap, but you know I'm doing this. So might as well do the whole shtick. Hey, like, um, like and subscribe. Um, do that stuff, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's just a joy to to uh, have you in my life for about an hour every Monday, and and I appreciate you so much for letting me be in your lives for an hour, and um, it's uh, it's a great feeling. And it's something I, w I don't take lightly. So, no matter how goofy I get, this is always this is always going to be very important to me. And I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Um, have a great night, and make it a better tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.